moves ahead because if she does the light will be absolutely amazing so there we go it looks like tundi up in the tree itself there we go. i can't see any sign of tumba but that is the quintessential leopard shot and you can see she is perfectly sprawled over that branch her back legs over each side which just helps her to balance and then her paw up underneath this head for a bit of a pillow to rest on and isn't that amazing that is like i say as good as it gets when it comes to a leopard that's for sure they really are the most beautiful animals and when they sit in a tree like this it really doesn't get any better now hopefully she's going to just lift her head and turn it towards us it seems that she's still more interested on the other side and often you'll find with these leopards is that they have a really really good nap in a tree like this and they actually sometimes don't really care too much to actually turn their head even when a vehicle approaches so i'm not sure if she will but we'll give it a little moment and if she doesn't then we'll just reposition ourselves and see if we don't get a better sort of view of her head but that is beautiful and the color of that coat that sort of deep gold color on that dark branch it just really is the most beautiful beautiful thing to see when you sort of see this for the first time it just takes your breath away as a leopard sort of sits in a tree like this and it amazes me that they're able to actually get up there and spend their sort of time up there and that they make it look so comfortable must be very windy up there though I'm surprised that they're up in conditions like this I don't see a carcass anywhere in this tree so it's not that they're up there for food but I wonder if this isn't tumba just judging by those ears those ears are perfectly round so I wonder if it isn't him not easy to tell when you're looking at the back of a head of a leopard but it does look like it could be Tun Tumba's ears. Tundi's a little bit older and so she does have a few little nicks and cuts in her ears and places and a bit of wear and tear as she's gone through the paces and so maybe that's why we can't sort of why I think it is Tumba. Also that coat is very dark tough to say though I'm just surmising at this stage I also can't see any sign of the genitals which would be an indicating factor if it was Tundi or Tumba. Hmm. I'm going to try and see if I can't just find a better position here. It doesn't seem like she's going to turn to face us at this stage. So I wonder if there's not a better place that we can park ourselves. Just trying to wait for the other vehicles to get themselves sorted out and to get themselves settled. So James, you're wondering if leopards are mostly nocturnal. Well, I suppose they, they do have periods of activity in, at night, but they're actually what is called crepuscular. Now, crepuscular animals are animals that are active around sunset and sunrise, so a leopard's peak activity is at those times. So this time of the day is when they start to kind of wake up, and they'll move around just before sunset, and then in a few hours after sunset, and then again around the same thing at sunrise. So they move around in those periods, and then during the middle of the night, they are actually quite sort of docile they tend to do a bit of sleeping in the middle of the night and actually don't move too much at all now once that vehicle is settled i'm going to just try and move around and see if we can't get a better view hopefully we'll be able to see in underneath this vegetation Ferg, let's try and see if we can't see the face so we can just find out exactly who this is because there was reports of tundi there was reports of tumba there was reports of both so i want to try and see if i can't see exactly who this is but difficult to say at this stage from like I say looking at the back of the head now I must apologize yesterday when we had in Kanyeni that or what I said was in Kanyeni it wasn't in Kanyeni afterwards I went and had a look and it's James Richard very kindly pointed out that it was indeed Kuchava which is Taylor's favorite leopard so oh no did you just turn your head no you didn't I thought for a second there she might have turned her head but we're going to just try and pull up a little bit there we go How's that, Ferg? Is that better? So, Ferg, we have to keep Ferg happy, and that's the one that we've got to try and talk to the, and make sure that he's got a good angle. But isn't that beautiful? Absolutely marvelous. Now, we are using a new camera, so Ferg is trying to get a hang of it. I know James was chatting about it this morning, and it's got a bit of a different focus system, so every now and then Ferg is just trying to get that right. So, if it is a little bit sort of in and out that is the reason why 
But isn't that a serene s sort of picture? Fast asleep. It actually does look like it could be Tundi. It is Tundi that is lying up in the tree. Now that I can actually see her a little bit better, it is her. I'm surprised at how intact her right ear is. It's not at all sort of nicked as I thought it was. Maybe the left ear has got one or two nicks in it, but her right ear is definitely okay. Now, it's a pity she's not facing the other way because that light at the moment is gold, gold, gold on her. It would have been a beautiful, beautiful image had she turned and faced us on the other side but now the fact that she's got her legs sprawled on either side of that branch I'm pretty sure she's found the sort of better side to sleep